kind of a bizarre start, but happy that the main character went from this little wimpy bitch ass bitch into some edgelord immediately. How? By eating monsters and then realizing that all his friends actually kind of hate him. They were never really his friends. I wonder who it was of the ones that was casting the magic, the ones that redirected it downwards. Obviously, it's one of the bullies that we saw in the beginning, but was there more than that? Also, the hero dude. Is he really a good person? Because so far, he kind of looks like it, but in the prologue, there seems to be a little bit of jealousy between how, you know, the main girl and the main character kind of interact. I don't know, but let's begin today's reaction. Please, let's get out of this cave. It's so dark. I can't see shit. Please, I'm begging you. Is he still eating? He just making more bullets, more guns, eating more, getting more skills. By the time he gets out, he's gonna be ridiculously strong, right? Yeah, I can't see a damn thing either, bro. This is... <laughs> like, the fact on YouTube especially, if I put a filter over this dark shit, no one can see anything. <gasps> oh my god! Petrified? Petrified. Oh, uh, we have, like, anti-petrification? The fuck? It's just a little gecko thing. Just shoot it. Oh, it's not that small. Never mind. It's kind of huge. It's actually huge. Flash bang into... Bang, bang. They're only on the 20th. These little bitch-ass punks. Oh, teleport to 65th level. Deepest it's ever been reached. Hmm. But our main character is about to get there soon. Even deeper. God's chosen heroes. Wait, wait, wait. The actual hero? You know, the guy in the cool armor? Oh, we gotta cover this up. Huh? No, no, no. Hero's alive. We gotta cover this shit up, huh? A little bit of political drama going on. The magic spell? Or maybe she saw who betrayed. She's one of the two goddesses of the school, right? Along with the, the, the main girl, I think. Yeah, her and... Wow, she's even crying in her sleep. I wonder how she's going to react when, you know, he comes back. Totally different. Like, he's not going to be the same person anymore, as she knows. I swear I'll rescue you. I swear I'll rescue you. No, I promise I'll ditch you, I'll betray you, and then I'll lie about that you died back here. Well, I don't know, he didn't... Maybe he did betray, I don't I don't think he did. But the bully did. And I swear there were more than one projectile that went below. Is it, is it just one or two? Maybe it was just one. Don't worry, Nagumo's gonna have a little vacation and come back super strong. Where's the bully? Now the craziest twist is that the hero is the one that, you know, betrayed him. But I don't think so. Because from the replay... You did promise? Oh yeah, she did. Because she's a healer. But, like, from the replay, I think the person that betrayed had a hood on, right? Did he just... He just punched her out?! Okay, so that she wouldn't go crazy and go down, but like, this dude just fucking just... BAM! <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Maybe she's still knocked out from that. Maybe she's still... Maybe she's in a coma right now, bro! Uh, training the way of the blade, I see. I wonder how this kingdom really views the heroes. I bet they just see us as a like dispensable cannon fodder. I don't know. I, I don't think they really truly see us as heroes. Humans, demons, beastmen. Cat girls! Cat girls! Demons learn how to control monsters. Oh. But like, we're just in the context of the labyrinth, so the labyrinth isn't the only way, only place that we can find monsters, right? This isn't some holy god, bro. Y'all were just summoned because this place fucking sucked. No, no, no. This guy is like the perfect, like, self-righteous justice dude that is blindly just walking into this. This is some bullshit, bro. I bet the Pope loves this shit. What are you gonna do about a teacher? What are you gonna do about a teacher? But, you, you know, like, this hero dude, obviously, he has a very good heart. His heart is in the right place. He's all about heroism, justice, 
but I feel like that is the perfect kind of person to feed the Kool-Aid into. It's like, oh, you're a hero. You must save our land. In fact, they're all probably like looking down at them thinking, what a bunch of fucking idiots. You're the cannon fodder. Maybe I'm wrong. We all just ignore the teacher. What are you going to do about it, bitch? I simply mean to the teacher. Fuck that guy, though, in the, the beige. He betrayed us, right? Uh, does he feel guilty about it? <gasps> Damn. <laughs> Damn. No way it's that easy. What's this? Oh. What the fuck? Nobody saw He's the one that betrayed. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he is totally just like totally. What's the word? Um, like he feels so guilty. I really wanted a huge plot twist to be like it actually wasn't him. It was the hero that did it. But no, I don't think this show is going to go that deep. I'm thinking too deep. No one really saw it, huh? Yeah, I mean, who do you think could have betrayed? Like, come on. He's the most obvious one. Transmute language. Yeah, of course. Even the hero loves Kaori. Ah, she's connecting the dots. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What do you think, girl? Who did it? You dumbass! No, you were on... Ugh. How is this gonna be, like, found out? There's gotta be, like, a witness. I still want to believe that she's not just sleeping. She's in a coma because the night fucking just knocked her... Okay, she's up. <laughs> she's back from her coma from getting knocked out by that old dude. Five days. Yo, he knocked her out for five days! Cause he got hit in the back of the head with that fucking fist! Bottom of the labyrinth, getting OP, don't worry, he'll come back. He's gonna come back with a new haircut, he's gonna be totally cool. I want to feel sad for this girl, this is like a sad emotional moment, but I have no attachment to this character. I think her obsession with uh, Nagumo is kind of ridiculous considering we don't even know. Well, the OV8 didn't really explain it, but you guys let me know in the comments that um apparently Nagumo like saves some people by being really kind and Kaori saw that and she's like, wow, you're, you're so cool and now I want to be like you kind of deal, I don't know. Yeah, this is Bell Cranel, man. This is Bell Cranel, and we're in the dungeon right now. Yo, that looks like a boss room. Don't go in there. That's a boss room. <laughs> That's a boss room. You're gonna get a cutscene, then you're gonna get clapped. But he's not me and Sekiro. He's gonna win. Oh, wait. There's also that blonde girl that was, like, chained up. Remember? You need to collect three of those things and place it in there. It won't open. Or you could just shoot your gun. Oh, there's little guards before the boss, too. You gotta eat them, right? Shoot them and eat them. Big blue and red ogre. Our gun is super strong. I'm just waiting for the moment where the gun isn't enough. Because, like, it's gonna be too ridiculous if he just beats everything by, by shooting it, right? What's the weakness? Just shoot it in the dick. He's not guarding his dick. Shoot the eye. Look, he's only wearing a loincloth. Shoot him in the dick. Maybe the blonde girl is behind the gates. The one that was chained up in the last episode. This is too OP. The other ogre just got felled in one shot. Nothing personal. Okay, bang bang. And you're dead. He just turns around, doesn't even want to fall down. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Now, it's gotta be the blonde girl behind her, right? Or, okay, fine. Transition scene. Probably the two girls holding hands, yeah? He is, but it's not the Nagumo you know. Like, how is she gonna... Because she liked the, the weak, kind of soft boy that Nagumo was, but... She has a good heart, though. She has a good character. She's a little bit too normal vanilla for me, but she's, she's truly kind. Of all the girl characters... I kind of like her the most, because she uses the blade, and I'm just a weeb. I love the katana kind of aesthetic. 
Now, is it a boss? Or is it the blonde girl? There's one more still. It's you need three. Or not. There's three spots. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Two will do. Oh, this is like space. Loading cube? Thought it was going to be a boss scene coming up, but maybe the blonde girl's inside. It's her. Why is she locked in here? Is this the main girl character of this show? The Kaori and the two goddesses, like, they don't really matter. Like, this is the real girl of this show? <laughs> He's gonna leave! Bro, come on! Why? It's kind of incredibly based. He just fucking kills the two guards, unlocks the hidden door, and he's like, nah, I'm out. Uh, kind of true. Kind of true. Like, that's objectively pretty smart. The blonde lolly was betrayed, and he feels the same way about betrayal. Maybe they can relate to each other. Mm. The hair is perfectly covering the nipples. Wait, isn't there a fetish of girls being stuck in walls like this? Wait, this is the straight. I'm just starting to realize. Like, this is. Stuck in a wall, and I'm pretty sure it is on, like, fucking genre or hashtag, bro. I'm pr Like, stuck in a wall, bro. This is 100%! Anyways, focus. Focus on the show. Focus on the show. Vampires. She was too dangerous. Maybe they feared her power. So that's why they, they sealed her away. She heals quickly. Hmm. Instant regeneration. Manipulate. What, is that, what does that mean, though? What do you mean, manipulate mana? What, wait, what does that mean? Don't need, is this like incantationless magic? Like, you need to draw circles and do a bunch of complicated shit to do magic, but she can just do it without it? Okay. Come on, just free the, free the lolly vampire. Come on. Come on. You could use a friend. Come on. How is he going to, like, unseal her with just transmutation? And no nipples. Good, good. I don't have to censor it. That smoke was CGI there, wasn't it? That pink, like the red mist, that was CGI, wasn't it? Whoa. Is he putting potions in bullets? What? Lolly fan service incoming. Is she Lolly? I can't really tell. She's at that like Kotori level where it's like, not really a Lolly, but not really a grown girl. I, I don't know. Doesn't have a name? Oh, that's intimate. Toka. I'm still confused in Data Live why Toka's the only girl we named and no other girl was we named. Still didn't get to the fucking thing about if spirits were originally humans or just they were always spirits or some shit. If they were always inverted. I, I, that's Data Live shit. Anyways, forget it. Name her. Name her. Tokisaki Kurumi. Or, or Yue, sure. Sure, Yue. What does that mean? Moon. Wow, Moon. Oh. He has red eyes too. Damn. Yo. That main girl above Phobos and I, I don't even know her. I don't even Oh! Oh! Maybe she can heal. Maybe he can heal her. Alright, maybe she can heal him. Hajime is gonna be fine. Nah, it's gonna be fine. I mean, she has crazy regeneration. I don't know how, if that's gonna work on Hajime, but it'll be fine. It's pretty cool that we name her kind of like Data Live, but at the end of the day, I'm still wondering. Like, this blonde girl, Yue, this seems to be the main ship. If you look at the the visuals of the show, it's Hajime and Yue. It's not Hajime and that, that other girl above. I, I don't even know her name anymore, bro. Like, like I, I guess they baited us with that girl. And then may maybe if we go back to the surface, it'll create an interesting dynamic where they're, like, super jealous. And, like, it's like Hajime has a girlfriend now. And I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of, like, the perfect kind of revenge of people feeling jealous and stuff like that. Even though, technically, that girl didn't do anything. It was the bully. Kind of too simple. It was the most intuitive guess. Kind of wanted the hero to be the bully. Because that would be the crazy. That would be the craziest twist. But I guess it's not that kind of show. Anyways, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.